and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Sun Wake of the Ravager. When we last left off, we had fought our way through Calyx Pyramid in order to get to this room. And also, I tried telling a story that was just extremely long-winded. But then again, considering I'm trying to do two things at a time, yeah, can you really blame me? Uh, it's not easy. Being green. Oh, jeez. Alright, now let's just go ahead and buff ourselves before we do anything. I'll just cast a bless there. And now let's go ahead and use this cabinet. And hey, this looks rather familiar now, doesn't it? No. Let's just go ahead and use it. There is barely room in the cabinet for all of you. Get in the cabinet? Why, yes we shall. And where will this take us? Why, right here. The woman in white speaks. So, at last we meet. My Lord Kaisharga will be most displeased to learn you have invaded his private garden. But when I present him your heads arranged most handsomely on a platter, he will forgive me. Gods, kill these verminous creatures. Or face wrath to boil your blood, that of the dragon's exquisite malevolence. Okay, first off, lady, what you just said there did not match up with your text. Like, freaking, just like, especially near the end. And I'm afraid we're gonna be the ones killing you! Now, here we go. When this combat initiates, these barriers just deactivate the walls of fire. And here we have Rainika. Rainika. Whatever her name is. She's level 14 and she has a plus two life stealer. And I'm just gonna quickly look at that. The Defiler's Woman's Magical Control Device. Ugh. Now, let's just go ahead and beat her up. And considering that she's a spellcaster, yeah, she is very easy to take down. Everyone in the party gains 200,000 experience points. Damn! The mistress is dead! The garden's magic is loose! Run for your lives! And, oh boy. Now, let's just go ahead and take her weapon, the Life Stealer, which is 1d8 plus 2, and it has Disintegrate. Destroys one target with some creatures... Wait, destroys one target. Blah. Some creatures with innate magic resistance may avoid the effects of the spell. Yeah, we're gonna take that. And there's, she also has 4,000 ceramic coins. And she has a bracelet with graft weapon. So we'll just go ahead and give that to Selexat. And she also has a spell book with Mordenkainen's sword. Casting of the spell brings forth into being a shimmering sword-like plane of force, thus creating a dancing sword. Yeah, essentially it just, like, it follows you around and attacks things for you. Now let's just go ahead. I'm gonna have to move that around, because... Oh, oh, dang it! The freaking window is in the white. Son of a gun! Well, here we have a one-use scroll of Finger of Death. Snuffs out the victim's life force. If successful, the victim can neither be raised nor resurrected. Ooh, pretty nasty. Good thing she didn't get the chance to use that or the life stealer. Because, yeah, the life stealer is actually quite a threat if she were to use it. And we have a plus three leather bracer, which only Alora can use. Because, yeah, these are preserver armors only. Now, when you get up to this point, don't move. Just, you'll see why. And, nope, not moving. Can't make me. And that's why you don't want to move. Because while the garden, while Kainika is dead, the garden goes freaking nuts as all that defiler magic that's around here is unleashed and pretty much kills everything. Well, pretty much tries, flings magic on anything that gets, that just tries to, that's, well, in front of us. Now, let's just go ahead and give this to Alora and... Yeah, negative two AC. Also, I forgot to do a little something, which is I need to buff up my squishy characters by casting Iron Skin. Thank you, and Atticus and Halton should be fine, or fine, rather. And Halton is now max level. Yeah, level 15. Managed to do it, and oh boy. Oh, watch the fireworks go, Wee! Oh, that was a dispel magic. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Woohoo! Come on, yeah, kill him, kill him! 
Do the dirty work for me! Woo! Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Woo! Oh my god. And oh! <laughs> Allura is now a level 12 preserver. And now she has access to 6 level spells. Yeah, normally in, in later... Actually, no, not normally. In later editions, you get one... Your spell level increases for every odd level you get to. So if you were level 11 and you were a wizard, you would get access to 6 level spells at that level instead. And here we have all sorts of spells, such as Anti-Magic Shell, Place an Invisible... Invisible, I don't know, that just looks weirdly written to me. Barrier that is totally impervious to all magic, magic spell effects, and magic items within the shell. That's decent enough to use on any enemy casters, but considering how weak they are, yeah, they're not going to live long enough. And we also have Chain Lightning available. Creates a lightning bolt that moves from target to target within the area of effect, which is a cone, by the way, doing 1d6 points of damage per level of caster. And we have Death Fog. Creates an area of solid fog that has the additional property of being highly acidic. A maximum of 8 points of damage is done each round. That's meh. And of course we have the Death Spell, which we have a scroll of. And Disintegrate, right there. And we have Globe of Invulnerability, protects against 1st through 4th level spells, which is decent. And here we have the Improved Haste Spell. Doubles the target's movement and number of attacks per round. This spell will also negate the slow spell. Now, the thing is, the reason I haven't been using haste as much is because in the manual, it warns that each casting ages each character a year. And the thing is, though, the age, if there is indeed an age stat, it's hidden from you, which is baloney. And even though, like, this one, I don't know really if this is any better. Really? And the only thing that this does is that it doesn't age... THE target? Yes, I said THE target, because this only targets one person instead of an area. Like that, and... Okay, I don't... I don't want to know that, and... Yeah. Though, if that aging thing is just made up, and that's not actually something I have to worry about, let me know. But the thing is about aging is that for a Thrycreen... Oh, boy. I read that they have... They don't really live that long. But anyways, here we also have Improved Slow. Has a chance of slowing all creatures in the area... In the affected area to have their normal movement and attacks. Canceling, cancels haste improved haste spells. And here we have Monster Summoning 4. Allows caster to magically conjure 4th level monsters who fight on caster side in combat. Yeah, meh. And here we have Reincarnation. Brings the essence of the dead character back and transfers to another body. Possibly one very different from his former body. Yeah, pretty much it's raised dead, but you change your race every time. And here we have Stone to Flesh. Reverses the effects of Flesh to Stone spell on the target. And we have Flesh to Stone, which essentially is the opposite. Just turns them to flesh. And, of course, we can get... We have the Spell Scroll of Tensor's Transformation. But, you know, we gotta go for the Death Spell. Bang! Ah! Die! Die! All of you, die! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, boy, that just, like, gave us a good bit of experience. Ooh. <laughs> I just looked back there and, oh, there's a wall of fire in my face. That's not good. Now, let's see. Where is that spell? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, let's see. I know I have... Let's see. No, that's not it. Ah, there it is. Let's go ahead and learn Tensor's Transformation and put that spell book right there. That is a 7th level spell. And, of course, you can learn spells that you don't have access to free up space, but I'll just keep them when I can, or just like if I can do that. And let's see, we have one casting of Tensor's Transformation. Ah, I can't. Dang it. Oh, not on yourself. God, no. And yeah, as the garden goes on, like all the plants that were all green and all that die off. Because as you can see now, everything is just dead. Well, some plants survive, but not others. Now, can I shoot you through the... Nope. Well, I'm just going to put Alora forward, and I am just going to guard. Just come on and get me! Come on down to the rodeo! Where you're going to get your butts whooped. Because you are just going to end up running through fire, and die, and all that lovely jubbly stuff. 
Now I can use Dispel Magic to get rid of those. Ow. When did you come? Where the hell did you come from? Oh god, Selexat is a little bit too close to that wall of fire. Now the thing is, you can use Dispel Magic to get rid of those effects. And it is a good idea. What the hell? Whoa. Things just went crazy there. And on these guys, they have two plus two lotus stone lot lotuses. Lotuses. Eh, we'll take them. If if not for anything, just for collection, at least. So they're worth a lot. Let's see. What do you have on here? Ah, you have a stone lotus. And you have also plus one arrows, which we don't really care about, but I'll just grab them anyways. Now, if I recall correctly about Tensor's transformation, is that when you use it, you can't cast spells. At least I know that's for that's a fact in the later editions. And of course, let's just go ahead and have that. Yeah, just take damage and be unable to cast spells. Now, it's a good thing that everybody in my... Well, most... Ow! That just about everybody else in my party has access to Dispel Magic. Because that's... We're going to need that to get out of here relatively unscathed. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Halton is in real bad shape, so... You know, I think we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, you scream and you die and you just eat it. To the grave with you! Freaking evil... Hey, that's rude. That's not good at all. And let's... I can't target you because you're behind a wall which blocks my line of sight yes wait why are you able to do that can I hit you now no come on no oh. huh yeah wait all right uh, okay now can I do that yes I can I can hit you with Halton who has the lowest dexterity in the game well, out of our entire party, and... Oh, whoa. Whoa! Game is lagging here! And I was able to fire off that one shot. Yep, die. And of course, since Alora has iron skin, she can just deal that. And there we go, select that gains a level. And here we have some guys with a plus one double spear. Jack all for damage. Uh, and, oh, someone's getting hurt. Alright, now let's just go ahead and cast some Dispel Magics. Because I want to be able to get out of here without getting hurt. Let's see how it's... Oh, wow. And just... Yeah, there uh, we go. Now I can actually see where all the bodies are. Because... Oh, you have some plus one arrows. You got some ceramics. What do you have? You have nothing. And you have nothing. Wait, I didn't even loot you! Huh? Okay, yeah, there's a body over here. The game will let me select it. Yes, there we go. Give me that. Loot. Loot. Alright, now that was... <laughs> I haven't even... I barely moved and I... Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, do 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 Oh, wait. Select that... Do you not have iron skin? Oh yeah, that's right, you were standing in the walls of fire. That's why you were taking so much damage. Alright. Ah, Halton, get him! By the way, I figured out how to... Or at least I think I figured out how to pull off a sneak attack with Alora. And essentially, you just want to have one ally attack one side and then have Alora attack the other side. Then... Bada bing, bada boom, dead. Lots of damage go going their way, and they just will not survive. And of course, Selexat that can just easily go there without much trouble because, well, he's paralyzed. Oh, no line of sight. And there's still some old oh, defilers. You know what? Let's see. Where is the? Let's see. I would like to. Ooh. You know, I haven't cast that many spells at this level. Cone of Cold! Oh, really? Why did that not hit him? 
Eh. Well, that guy's dead. And that guy's dead. And, by the way, these defilers over here would normally be afraid once you kill Kaineka. So, yeah, we're just gonna... Uh, sit tight. It's too much fire! Fire everywhere! It burns! And, of course, with the... I believe that might be an incendiary cloud, where that essentially pretty much just... You... Yeah, it's like wall of fire, but it's more radial. Alright. Gotcha. And you have a plus one double spear, which I'm gonna take. And... Can't do anything. Ah! Now you can't cast spells because you got hurt. Ha ha. Though it kind of sucks for us right now because the fact is we can't use the spell magic. Oh my good lord. Okay, Atticus, do something. Freaking get rid of this effect. Okay, that only got. Okay, never mind. That got all of it. Hold on. Try and do something about that guy. Yes, you can do it. Oh wow! Bang bang! You stupid defiler! Okay, half of this video is more than half. This video is going to be just us getting out of here, I'm trying to, anyways. And thankfully, we still get experience from all this, so we're not getting screwed out entirely. Okay, now let's see. Time to get away. And I think the portal to Udraxa is dead now. <laughs> oh, no. Ow. 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 Woo. Boy, that was a lot of damage. Let's see. How many... No. Oh. Yeah. Atticus does have more... He does have more wisdom than selects that, so that's why he has a another spell. Let's see, is this still? Ah, no, it's still it's still active. Can't even get to that. Even if we were to teleport onto that, I doubt we can even get there. Okay, now I just want to go ahead and actually save the game here. Oh boy, that was just insane. Thought it would have thought that would have been easy peasy, but nope, that was just complete cluster truck. Uh, and there's a bear. Yeah, get... Oh. Dang, nabbit! Oh, he's paralyzed! Great! Now, come on, can I get him? Can I get her across? And then... Oh, come on! Oh, well. Hey, that's some more teeth. And there you go, Dream. You're free to wander this place forever. And, of course, you took out the cork. You, like a jerk. Now, let's just see. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Can I rest up? Oh, no! Oh, oh, whoa. Uh, let's just smash them, and I think the fireplace is gone. I'll just... That, yoink, and yoink. Good thing this isn't to the actual tabletop. Because that would have taken quite a few actions to do. And taking off armor? Oh boy. That actually takes even longer to do. It's pretty much an out-of-combat thing you'd have to do. Alright. And, whoop. And Halton gets the item. Too many items to carry. Oh, great. Uh, I knew this would come to haunt me. Uh, let's see. Who has the other plus one arrows? You do. And just go ahead. Store all this. Yay! Item inventory management. That shouldn't be possible in combat. Okay, let's just... And you know what? Let's see, do you still have... Uh, I meant to say... I was going to say stone skin, but no, I meant iron skin. Yep, you still do. So, Lord Guards. And let that skeleton war come to us. And Atticus, yes, I think. Goodness, it's your turn. And just, well, this is why it's good, it's your turn, because destroy them! There we go, and is the fireplace... Yep, the fireplace is actually gone. Huh. Well, there you go. That's something that I didn't know and you get to see. Holden gets the item. 
Okay, I definitely need to go ahead and sort through some of these things. Now that life stealer, it's a plus one. It's actually not a plus one. It's a one-handed weapon. Though, of course, since it has a spell effect, it has charges and will eventually go away. Which is stupid. It's dumb. You're a dumb. Okay, let's see. Anything that we can switch out? Nope. Just go ahead, put that there. Put that there. I don't even know why I'm hoarding all this stuff. Then again, if when you play D&D, you kind of usually have to hoard all the stuff you find. It's, you never know when you can... when you need the money. Alright, now let's just go. Now, uh, slowly but surely, we'll get out of the pyramid. Now, where the... The cork's gone! The dream steal it! Uh... Okay, that's bad. Uh, now, if only this was like in... If only this was like in the later editions where you have like cure light, moderate, serious, then critical at first, fourth, or, yeah, first, second, third, and fourth levels. Ugh, because that would have been so much better. And whoa, that glitchy much? Oh boy. Yeah, this is place I am going to get right out of now because this place sometimes just doesn't want to be nice and snaps one bar after another out of the grate and let's just go ahead and follow it in order to get to this shortcut yeah that's why I didn't bother with that grate and ahead of you is the stairs lead is the stair leading back up to tier climb up the stair yes oh boy that was quite a lot <laughs> Why wasn't that cockhead defending my garden? If I must abandon Tyr, he shall feel my displeasure most keenly. Okay then, that was glitchy as all hell. What is going on? And let's just go ahead and close up the statue and take this and throw it into a lake or into the desert so no one else can find it. Uh, because someone's going to wander in and be like, Oh, what's here? Oh, God, I'm dead! Just because, like, the fact is they got savaged by a fair. Just, that was just around. Okay, now, I'm going to want to go ahead and rest up after that. Ah, uh, sure, I could go ahead and do it at the Bay of the Lions, but this is just, this is closer. All right, now, let's go ahead, and I'd like to rent a room. Uh, I'll take the room for one night, and... Let's see, goodbye, my lady. Thank you for the for the services of resting in a place that's safe and well, pretty much we can't just rest anywhere because well this isn't like Baldur's Gate, but even then, if you're playing Baldur's Gate and try to rest in a city, you'll just get hurried along by a guard telling you to do Hey you, no loitering and all that crap. Ugh. I'll sleep wherever I want, damn you. But this game won't let me sleep wherever I want. Because freaking no, you gotta do it at fireplaces. Yeah. Okay, let's just chug along. I'll have to check what the hell is going on with my computer because, Jesus, this is kind of unusual. The one thing I hopefully am doing right is that I got this thing all centered. Because, yeah, 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 sometimes that just, like, really irks me. And now let's just go ahead and talk to Nataku. Because I have the fair teeth. And, yeah, we'll just get rid of those. And show me your goods. Yeah, you know what? I'll just go ahead, pause it here, and do all the selling and all that off-screen so you don't have to sit through me just doing all this tedious work. So I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, now we are done with all that. And thank you for your... Thank you, your business is appreciated. Yep, that it, that it is. And... It was nice talking to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. And now let's go ahead and go to the Veiled Alliance so we can tell them of our success at the Pyramid at stopping whatever the hell kind of shenanigans they were going to pull. However, you know, I feel like I should just, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Uh, yes. Uh, no, go forward. 
and I just thought I'd go ahead and cast some spells for no particular reason, none whatsoever, and well, let's just go ahead and descend into back into the Veiled Alliance. Got anything else to say to me, dragon? Vurdraxa? <laughs> I see the Lord Warrior is progressing well with my sanctuary. Perhaps this plan of his will prove profitable after all. But first he must get rid of those adventurers. Such loose ends should be cut off. Hate to break it to you, but your sanctuary's broken and busted, buddy, and... Whoa! What the hell? Draxons here? How the hell? Well, let's first of all try and get rid of that and kick some ass. Get over here. Yeah, it's yeah. Once you beaten the pyramid, these guys attack. And well, things are kind of dire now, ain't it? Well, we better start whooping, start kicking these guys out. It's eviction. Your eviction notice is here. And her name is Alora with arrows to, and she has arrows with your name on them. Oh, that was, I believe that was max damage with those arrows. Yeah, we got these guys. If you save these guys, they'll help you. And oh boy, that, oh wow, they're not going to last long. What about you? Oh, you're actually going to. Oh, dang, nabbit, no path from here, and I have my... My heavy hitters are in the back, which is stupid. Oh, that, a dead and dead. However, let's just go ahead and loot them, because, yep, they have magical plus... They have plus one swords and plus one arrows. And I could always do with more money. Now, of course, as you saw, I'm up to over half a million ceramics again. I almost called them something else. Wrong game! And dead. Well, this is pretty crap. Ah! Get out of here. And he's going to do something. And yeah, that guy only has a single attack, so he's only going to be able to do that much. Oh boy, this isn't good. Get him! Come on! Yep. Dang it! Come on! Could have done better. Now, guard. Nope, well, it's like that's turn again! And Atticus hears shouts from the southeast. Well then, we're gonna have to go ahead and investigate that, but first gonna go ahead and grab that, then go straight up here, and yes, this guy is following us around. If those other two guys had survived, they would have also been following us around. What do you got to say? The Draxons! You must stop the Draxons! They went towards the southeast! Thanks. I'm with you. Yep, that he will be. Until the end. Best friends forever! And all that stuff. But, you know, I think I shall end the video here, because, well, I kind of had my time running, and I don't want to go too long by accident, and all that. And also, well, I don't want any more glitches to happen. So, once... Again, we are in a situation that's all just garbage and all that. But anyways, I shall finally end it off here. I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video.